I'm about to review one of the most controversial fish to come out, the Glow Beta and the Glowfish Beta Tank. What's going on everybody? My name is Aaron. Instead of pet shaming you guys for getting the Glow Beta, I'm going to teach you guys how to take care of a Beta properly. And then I'm going to set up this Glowfish Tank so you guys can watch how I set it up. And my recommendations, I can already tell, the filter is too strong. My name is Aaron and I am a medical student, but today I'm going to talk about something on my channel that is much different than my medical school stuff. I went out and I got the Glow Beta. There's a couple reasons the Glow Beta is one of the most controversial fish to come out. One, it's because betas already in general are one of the most mistreated fish in the aquarium hobby. People think that you can keep them in small bowls. Yes, you can. They can survive in these small bowls, but they're not living a healthy, a healthy life. Two, they are from Thailand, which is a tropical place, so they need a heater in the tank. Usually keep it between 76 to 80 is a good temperature, but if you're anywhere other than a tropical place, yes, you need a heater. I don't care what any pet store employee tells you or any other person. If it's not above 76 degrees in your house and the water's not going to be above 76, you need a heater in there. Three, you can only keep one male beta in a tank at a time. They're extremely aggressive fish. They are called Siamese fighting fish for a reason. They can be kept with other fish um, in tanks, but only one male beta. Female sororities are a different topic. You guys should do some research. They don't always work. They can. They, sometimes they don't. I currently have one that is going okay, but I have had to remove females in the past from females, female betas fighting each other. All right. I'll show you guys. The guy wants it. He's in his tank. So I got a pretty young... Uh, he's a standard male. He was actually, uh, I think, $16. And that's pretty pricey. Um, PetSmart and Petco, I think they're going to be selling their premium males for around $30. For $30, guys, you can get an amazing beta from a breeder. And yes, it won't have the glow trait in them, but there's beautiful betas. Just do research. Look for crown tails. Look for Nemo's, look for Veil Tails, Spade Tails, look for Butterfly, look for Dumbo's. There's so many beautiful betas and I guess I'm not as ticked off because I don't breed betas for a living. But I can see how if you breed one of these Glowfish betas into one of those other betas, you're going to destabilize genetic for a large number of generations. Who knows if you could get the glow gene out of these betas and if it starts getting infiltrated um, that could be very bad for a beta breeder. Also I'm pretty sure it's illegal to breed these betas and sell them if you don't have licenses from Glowfish so don't do that at home. Alright so right off the bat I really like what Glowfish did so their Glowfish with their beta um, fish in it is three gallons so that's great I think a great rule of thumb for betas is two and a half gallons minimum the bigger the better guys I have read a lot of books on betas and the size limit for a beta tank is if the beta can't find food that's too big so basically like any other fish um, three gallons is a really good um, size I think for one single male beta uh, you don't want to start adding other fish because there is this thing we call bio load. So fish poop and pee just like you and me. So it's going to start overwhelming and it's going to make the water bad. You don't want bad water. That is one of the number one uh, mistakes a lot of new fish keepers do is they don't check their water parameters. They don't change water often enough. And that's why I think this is a really good size for one glowfish beta. So let's open it and see what is in here. Um, before I do that, it has two modes, sunlight mode, moonlight mode. Um, it has a filtration system. So a lot of betas, guys, uh, people say you don't need filters. I think it's a lot better if you do have a filter in a beta, if you're not doing daily water changes, or unless you want to do daily water changes. Uh, once we get this up and running, I want to see how strong the filter is. A lot of long fin betas do not like strong filters. Uh, it's... They like soft filters because then with their finnage, it's difficult for them to swim. Okay, so I was actually one of the first ones at the PetSmart that I went to buy it. Uh, and they were actually pretty excited. 
uh, for me to get it and it looks like it is glass so that is really good Glowfish 3 gallon Alright guys, so it looks like a nice size tank, so it's a nice little 3 gallon, sorry for the reflection. Um, you can see, I don't know if you guys can see here, but the filter inlet is right there. That's what sucks in all the water. This looks like, so it has the filter, it has a whisper filter. I have actually had a really good experience with the whisper filters. Tiny little cartridge, which is kind of annoying because it sounds like you're going to have to replace that. So, we're going to have to figure out how this whole filtration system works. But guys, there is no heater in here, which is disappointing. I think Glowfish had a great opportunity here to incorporate a heater into their Glow Beta tank. That would make the quality of life for the betas they're selling 100 times better. Um, luckily I do have a filter or I do have a heater myself and I was kind of hoping I could stick it here in the back we'll see if I'm able to put it in there somehow there are smaller heaters I like this one I'm gonna see if I can jerry-rig it to fit in here and if I can I will let you guys know all right guys we were able to do it so the heater is right here I was able to put it up against this wall this you can disconnect these little thingies right here and pull out the hole you can disconnect these little pipe piping right here let me show you guys if I can so you guys can disconnect this piping and actually take out the filter so I took that out I put the heater on this side and I'm actually pretty happy with how that came out uh, this guy is gonna have an awesome tank all right and there you have it you have the LED blue light up here there's actually a top so another important thing guys betas do jump so they do need a top and it's on this little stand I don't know if I trust it that much all right everybody so I decided not to put the gravel down in there you can see this decoration barely fits up top I couldn't put it on this side because of this power outlet, power head thing. So I decided to put it on this side. It is obstructing the filter, whatever was down here. So we'll see how that works. So betas are actually very intelligent creatures. You can kind of teach them to do tricks like jump up and jump through rings and hoops. So you actually do want to have decorations in there. Like I'm not putting live plants in this one just because the blue light and all that. I don't think it's going to work out. But I do like having like a hiding spot for him and then I have just the other plant that we can he can swim in between it. And I'm going to go with the bare bottom tank. I think that's going to be better for cleaning. It's going to be a lot easier. And also um, I hope that there's not too much reflection from the top. If there is and I start noticing him act weird then we'll put gravel at the bottom. But for now I'm actually going to leave no gravel. Alright so I filled it up everybody. You guys can see so this actually... So that's the inlet over there, and then it pushes the water out through here. That looks, that looks a little bit strong, but once we get him in here, we will find out. He is looking like a champ still, so I like to fill up as much as I can. Honestly, that might be, I think with the, I mean, it has a top, so he should be able to jump out. If you're new to the hobby, you should use a dechlorinator. This is about three gallons, so the instructions are on the dechlorinator you buy of whatever choice you pick. For this size tank, it'll barely be a little bit. Um, I've only connected the, the filter. Do You're supposed to let the heater acclimate to the water's temperature. So I put kind of lukewarm water in there. I'm going to let the heater sit in there for about 10 minutes before I turn it on. And then I'm actually going to have to find another outlet for the light because... Or maybe I'll just get like a triple for the thing over there. Um, but yeah. Then we can... Then we can get this little guy in there. One last thing before I let you all go. Uh, it's important to give them a variety of food. So there's a bunch of 
beta food out there that you guys can get. I have actually recently really started liking using this. Um, the Fluval Bug Bites are what I kind of feed my breeder males and females. I also give them frozen food. So there's like frozen brine shrimp, which is really good. Live brine shrimp, blood worms, tube effects worms, and just give them a variety of food. Not the same thing all the time, but just have two foods on hand and you're gonna love your new little guy. So my guy is already, has already learned to hide inside his little home. Oh no, he's out. He is looking awesome. I am so happy. He looks great. So you can see what you do Christmas 